So this isn't... This video isn't your typical garage sale haul video because I didn't get these games from a garage sale. Rather, I got them from the bookstore down the street for me because no garage sales are out right now because it's end of February and people are lame. What can I say? But at the end of the day, friends, I have video games to show you that I got for anywhere from a dollar to three dollars. So it's essentially a garage sale. I'm getting desperate. First game up is Medal of Honor Allied Assault for PC. Yay, Medal of Honor. And for three dollars, and I got Superman Returns and God of War. Now I have a thing with the God of War games because I believe my God of War games were jacked when I hired some movers to help me move two or so years ago. And thus, whenever I see God of War games, I have to buy them. I don't know how many of these I own, probably more than I need and or can count. And as far as Superman Return goes, I, I, have, I have no idea. Don't know. You know me, I don't need to explain my tendencies. Army Men 3D! Real combat, plastic men. With some dipshit scribbles all over the back. <laughs> I like the Army Men games. Granted, I haven't played an Army Man, Army Men, excuse me, game in oh god, I don't know. When did these games come out? 1999. So yeah, it's been a long time. I played these shortly after they released with my dad, and they're actually really fun. Maybe I should uh, fire one of these up with him soon. That could be fun. I may or may not have gone on a Tom Clancy spree. I think someone like dropped off all of their Tom Clancy games. I don't, you know, come to think of it, I don't even know how bookstores get video games. Do people literally bring their video games to the bookstores? Or do they get them through like a disperser? I don't even know. Anyway, let's go through these together. <laughs> Ghost Recon and Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. I don't even know how many of these I already own. Probably more, like I said, than I can, can count. Kind of like with my God of War thing. But you know, I can get desperate. I get desperate during these off season months. Uh, we have another what? This is okay. I know my, my line of thinking now. It was one of these was Platinum Hits and the other one wasn't. That was my line of thought. And then we have, did I already show Splinter Cell? What about Rainbow Six? Oh, Rainbow Six Three. I'm sorry. I have problems. I have problems, man. Dead to rights. <laughs> My habits have not changed. I know by now many of you get frustrated and you're like, why don't you just check for the instruction manual? It's because when I'm in the heat of the moment, I'm just so excited to have a video game. I don't think, I don't think to look for things. I know it sounds ridiculous and I know it sounds like checking for instruction manual should be the first and or easiest thing you can do. I just can't do it. You either gotta learn to love me for who I am. Love me for who I am or get rid of me, okay? It's just who I am. Ratchet and Clank, size matters. Woohoo! Oh, yes. Good old PSP discs. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw a PSP disc. I, uh, what game was it pad upon? I don't remember. God, that was years ago. I remember I was sitting in my old break room at work and I tried so hard to get this disc out of this plastic. And I, I tried everything. I tried like opening it this way. I tried it this way. I even like took like a pen and tried to like fit in these holes in it. Thankfully, it was not successful, and I was able to play my game. I think it was pad upon, but yeah, no. Reckless, the Yakuza chance. Woohoo! Everything's in here. I don't even know what this is. To be 100% honest with you, I saw Yakuza and I was like, ah, oh, I know that game, and got. Like I said, desperate times, friends. Call for desperate measures. Which is why I'm about to show you Little League World Series Baseball 2008 for the Wii. I, I wasn't sure whether or not I should get this. And I was thinking, I should get this for my dad. You know, maybe my, uh, my dad will play it because he likes simple games and this looks very simple. However, I don't think he even knows how to turn on his Wii or the Wii U without my assistance. No matter how many times, and maybe your parents or maybe you know someone who's the same way, no matter how many times you show them, Dad, it's really easy. You just put on, push the power button and the whole Wii menu will show up on this big thing called the gamepad. Oh, that's easy. And I'll even write down the instructions step by step. And then I come over there 
you know, weeks or so later, he's like, man, I wish I knew how to turn on that, that Nintendo. I would play that all the time and just pfft, head desk. I can't do it anymore. Just can't. Unreal as opposed to truthful. No. What's the opposite of unreal? Believable championship two. Huh. I gotta make these videos interesting somehow. Bleaks time sweeper. Yeah, I, I figured that. That's funny. It's, it's an old uh, GameStop. I wonder how much they paid for this. How much someone once paid for this at GameStop? Uh oh. Four ninety nine. Someone once paid four ninety nine for this, and I got it for two dollars, three dollars. I can't even tell anymore. Yay me, thrifty. I'm so thrifty. There's like a cat or a kid outside meowing. I'm not sure which it is. Ah, enchanted Drake's deception. I cannot wait for Uncharted 4. Can't wait. I'm gonna play all of the other Uncharted before it comes out. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh -huh. So that does it for all of my games. Now I did buy a buttload of guides. So if you're interested in player's guides, keep watching. If not, see you later. Totally unauthorized guide to Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> I, I admittedly was not a Diddy Kong Racing person. I was more the Mario Kart person. But uh, I love these old unauthorized guides because they just take me back to that era. You know, like, who, there was a, a, this is random, really, really random story, but Super Mario RPG, um, before I even owned the game, I rented it quite a bit from Hollywood Video until apparently my parents were like, okay, we just gotta buy her this game because she just rents it over and over again. And so every time I would rent it, it would come with a little pamphlet and it wasn't, um, it wasn't the official uh, like video game pamphlet that came with the games. It was something else and it was one of these like totally unauthorized secrets. It was a little mini guide and it was really cool. And the dude eventually just let me keep it because he's like, you probably need this, you know, more than I do. And I think I still have it somewhere. That would be really cool if I could find it. Anyway, yeah, so I like these old little totally unauthorized things. They're just, you know, it takes me back to the days, you know. <laughs> and I just love the, the art on this. It just reminds me. Have I mentioned that these take me back to the days of old? Oblivion! <laughs> it's so big! That's what she said. It's so big! I, uh, fun story with Oblivion. I remember I was out shopping with my high school boyfriend, and I think we, we had obviously been out of high school because when, when did Oblivion come out? Oh no! I'm missing pages! No! Oh, so it looks like it came out in 06 and I actually graduated high school in 06. Um, so I remember at Best Buy, I saw Oblivion and I was like, oh, we should totally get that. Cause I had a, uh, <laughs> I just bought a Dell laptop with my graduation money. Um, and I thought that my little laptop could run Oblivion. And oh boy, was I mistaken. Needless to say, I still have Oblivion somewhere and I don't even know where it is, but I haven't played it because it didn't run. Didn't run, sad day. I didn't have an Xbox at the time either, did I? No. So I couldn't even play Oblivion at all. Anyway, that was a totally random side story, but you know, it's probably what you've come to expect from my videos, randomness. Whoever dropped off their Tom Clancy games also dropped off their guides because I picked up Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, Ghost Recon, and Rainbow Six. I guess this is just the regular Rainbow Six. Or is there a Rainbow Six 3? I don't even know what's happening. Advent Rising. I never played this one. Did you guys play this? What did you think if you played it? I love old guides, and it feels really weird for me to say that a guide that came out in 2005 is old, because I was 17 in 2005. Now I'm 27. No. Tomb Raider! The Angel of Darkness. It even has the poster in it! That's so awesome! Generally, you know, these things don't have posters in them, and I have the poster in it. That's so happy. Fan me, guide, fan me. Last, but certainly not least, depending on your point of view, Prototype 2. Prototype 2. Remember when I was getting ready to play Infamous, 
I was like, hmm, do I play Infamous or do I play Prototype? And I played Infamous and Prototype ultimately got the shaft and was never touched by my hands ever. Ever, ever. But I have seen people play Prototype and it, it looks, it looks, it looks okay. I mean, I don't think it's anything that's like high on my priority of lists of things I need to play in my life, but it's, it's one that I think, I, that I hope I get to someday before I become warm fodder. Just put it that way. Well, that'll do it for this pseudo garage sale haul video. I will continue lurking at the bookstore. This is uh, two trips worth um, of stuff. I got, the first time I went was probably like, gosh, I don't know, like a month ago and I got just a few things. And then I came back like a week ago and then I just got the rest of the stuff. So I've only been twice in the past like month, but this is what I got. So anyway, hope you're having a swell, a swell day and I hope you have a swell rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye. What am I doing? Isn't this something people in like the 70s did? I don't know. I'm an 80s child man.